I stuff them in here, and that's going home outfit so fast. Who are you kissing over there? <laughs> Good morning guys! I don't know how I'm feeling today. I still have a little bit of my allergies left. My god, it's been so long since I got super bad allergies. So it feels so weird. I think you can hear it in my voice actually. I'm negative but the allergies are freaking people out. <laughs> like, oh my god, she's the first one who has it again. But thankfully, no, we're still negative. And Sana, it stays that way because I'm about to pop. And there's so many things that I need to do and I can't be positive. Guys, did you know my doctor told me that before I get admitted to the hospital, I need to take a PCR test every three days, starting from when I'm 36 weeks. I'm already 36 weeks in a few days. So I'm gonna see her tomorrow and see what she has to say, if the baby's gonna come soon or not. Pero grabe, imagine nyo, ang mahal nun. PCR test every three days for both Slater and I. Sorry, that's my phone. And then a lot of people who see me always tell me like, your stomach has dropped already. You're gonna give birth soon. So it's freaking me out. Like seriously, I'm so scared already. I know I've done this before and the second time around is supposed to be easy, but mentally, I'm still really scared. Like I don't know what to expect. I'm still hoping that everything's fine and the baby's healthy. And my worst fear is that Masias ako and or there's some complications that are gonna arise. Hopefully, wala. I keep having these nightmares, which I think is normal um, about bad things that are gonna happen. Right now, there's really nothing I can do. I also haven't been getting enough sleep because Scotty Boo, ha, <sighs> he keeps climbing out of his crib. I'm gonna show you right now, in case you're a mama that is going through the same thing. He keeps climbing out of his crib, and when I asked my sleep coach Ria of him being, she said. Better to transition him out of his playpen at ages three to four. It's too early now. Wala pa siyang two. But he's so tall, he can climb out of his crib, and I'm scared he's gonna injure himself. He's already done it three, four times na. So I decided to transition him from his crib to the floor bed, which is where he naps. But now he doesn't go down because for some reason he was okay being alone in his room when he was in the crib, but now when he's in the floor bed, like he likes to look for me, look for Yaya, he likes to explore. So every night he's crying his eyes out. I think it's been two, three nights already. 2 a.m. he'll cry, he'll look for people, he, he'll mess the whole room up and it freaks me out because I'm scared he's gonna climb or pull in a wire. Yaya's there in his room hiding, so when he wakes up and he's able to walk around now, gusto niya tumabi kay Yaya, which is Sabini Ria, like, not supposed to happen because you're gonna get him used to sleeping beside someone. And when that someone goes away, patay tayo, di ba? Training ulit. So, we're still trying to figure that out. We haven't slept because Scotty hasn't slept also. It's been really, really tough the past few days. Feeling go, oh my gosh, I'm done with this whole sleep training thing and then I have to do it all over again. It is almost time to leave the house. I'm gonna take Scotty to school and then I'm gonna come back here and finally pack my hospital bag, which is six months late already. They say you're supposed to pack it at 30 weeks. I'm already 36 weeks, so I'm super duper late. Um, and so I asked my brother to pick Scotty up from school just in case I don't make it in time. I'm just finishing up uh, some work because I was so depressed yesterday. I woke up, well, I didn't sleep. This whole morning was just like work and getting ready. I'm gonna show you my outfit because my outfit actually makes me feel a little bit better today. Excuse the mess of the room, but this is Slater's polo from Uniqlo and I don't ask for his permission when I borrow his clothes because he doesn't use them anyway guys I mean it's lavender it's so cute and this is also a new Uniqlo top that I got that my bestie recommended I got it online and it's so nice because it's already a bra and shirt in one so it's super easy to breastfeed and also be pregnant in it it's also super stretchy it's an Arizon top these are just the Lululemon leggings that I have and of course these new beautiful shoes from Vivaya so I'm super duper happy with my new shoes from Vivaya, guys. They're so comfy. What's great about them is that you can actually throw this whole thing in the machine, like in the laundry. So if it gets dirty because it's fabric, you can, like, and this is rubber, like you can literally just dunk, it's waterproof. You can dunk it and not think about it. When you get it out of the laundry, it's clean. I mean, how amazing is that? For a busy mama. And also, it's super comfortable. So now that my feet are so swollen, it kind of expands with my feet. And I have to walk a lot because I'm almost gonna give birth and they say, you know, you have to do squats, you have to walk. And honestly, wearing rubber shoes takes a, it's so nakakapagod to wear rubber shoes. Like you have to bend over and tie your shoelace. 
And then I'm always wearing my Birks and my slippers. It doesn't make me feel pretty, but with these shoes, like, I feel like I can run, I can exercise. And they're so comfy. So they're called the Vivaya Aria 5 Degree Flats. The reason why it's called the Aria 5 Degree is because through a lot of modifications and ergonomic design improvements, they were able to adjust the swing of the pointed toes by five degrees inwards, as well as adjust the width. So it's super, super comfortable. It's more fitting. The shape is more elegant without squeezing your feet, which is a really big deal because these are really flats that feel like sneakers, guys. I'm not even kidding. There's padding on the heels. You get no more blisters. There's a herbal PU foam insole, so it combines elasticity and softness. The elastic knit is super duper comfy, and the sustainable yarn is made from plastic bottles. What can be better than that? Plus, they have this patented sole design. I've been wearing these shoes for the past few days, and honestly, they're super duper comfortable. I don't regret them one bit. And it also has a yoga mat midsole, which is ultra lightweight. It really does feel like you're walking on clouds. It's light as a feather. It's like a 150 gram shoe, and it's seriously built for maximum comfort. So I can attest to this as a pregnant mama. <laughs> Have fun in school today. Sorry, I can't go down because Guax needs to talk to me. I need to go to Guax. Okay. Mommy will bring the big pillow in. Bye, love. Aku will pick you up. <gasps> Aku will pick you up later. Bye, honey. Enjoy school. I love you. I'm so proud of myself. Charger! I forgot my charger. Yeah. Okay. Now we're ready. So everything is all packed. My clothes, baby's clothes. The only thing lacking is Slater's clothes, but Slater really packs like in five minutes. So it doesn't really matter. He can pack on the day. I feel like what I'm changing, he can pack. Like it's so fast. Love. All right, so the first thing that I'm gonna show you, what's in my hospital bag? This is baby number two edition, so I know exactly what the hospital's gonna be providing, what I need and what I don't need anymore. Okay, so the first thing that I'm gonna show you, this is what I showed you already earlier, and these are gonna be the shoes that I'm gonna be wearing the whole time that I am in the hospital, and these are from the brand called Vivaya, and I've seen this a lot online, and it's so tempting to, like, to shop on their website because it looks so comfortable. I mean, they have photos of girls wearing the shoes with yoga pants so this is the shoe up close and personal again it says made from recycled material no waste just misplaced treasure you decide what it's going to be when you've upcycled your box so it says that for each pair you are recycling more than six plastic water bottles which I can totally get behind because you know we gotta save the world and preventing them from breaking into millions of microplastics and harming marine life. So the insoles are made of natural artemisia, RG herbs, which may cause an allergic reaction, but everything's natural. And again, they're so comfortable and I really, really like them. These are the Vivaya Aria 5 degree flats if you want to get one for yourself. And these are the only shoes that I'm going to be bringing. So guys, if you want to check out the Vivaya Aria 5 degree flats, I highly, highly do recommend them. You can check out my description box below for the link. You can use my coupon code Chris for 18% off any item on their website. There are three swaddles here and I labeled them swaddles with my little Dymo maker just so that if ever a nurse asks one from Slater, um, you can just easily go through the bag and find all of these plastic ones are baby's things, right? So we have swaddles, we have burp cloths. So I have the tiny ones that you can just use to 
like wipe spit ups and then I have the big lump in ones that you can use to cover your body with and then I have the regular sized burp cloths just normal cloths that you can use for any kind of spill up spit up situation the last time that I did this I don't think I labeled anything and I think it's just really helpful to label stuff because you're gonna be super groggy and you don't want your husband to be constantly asking you like where's this where's that where's that so this one is like foolproof not that he's a fool but <laughs> It's just foolproof and so um, I don't know how long we're gonna be staying in the hospital because Shempre I'm aiming for a normal delivery, but who knows you know you um, Can't really plan these kinds of things. So just in case my emergency CS ako, knock on wood or we have to stay longer than planned I have a week's worth of clothes seven outfits for babies So they're all packed individually in these stasher bags. So naka set na to um, beanie mittens socks or footed pants and tie-ups are like one C's. So it's all complete now for Slater to give the nurse. Just hand any one of these to the nurse if they ask for an outfit and he's good to go. I also have the last one going home outfit which I chose specifically. Um, I don't know why I really love this print. I just checked and by the time this vlog is out it's gonna also be the same day that these prints are gonna be released. So these are so cute if I do say so myself. This is actually the print on Scotty Boo's wall. It is the mural that my sister-in-law painted of the whales and the hot air balloon. And we turned it into a onesie for baby number two. There's also like different pajama sets for toddlers, play sets, t-shirt and short sets. There's also beanies. It's so cute, guys. Oh my gosh, I'm gonna put photos here right now of the things that we're gonna be launching for Bamberry Baby. It's gonna be collab with them. And I'm just so excited. So all of the things that I packed actually in the hospital, they're from this specific collab of ours and it's so easy because instead of packing like one pair of socks one pair of mittens one hat one pants one um top it's five pieces i just literally pack two so hat and clothes i stuff them in here and that's going home outfit so fast i also packed for baby two blankets so apart from the whale print we also have a banana print because shamper we're sagging fam so it's so cute Ta -da! Oh, blanket for baby number two. And Scotty loves, loves, loves the fabric of this. I remember when Scotty was still a baby. Every time we would dress him in Bamberry, good mood siya. So you would save it for days where I'd have to take him out or we'd have to take his photo because good mood talaga siya because the fabric is so soft and light. That's why I love, love working for Bamberry. Not for anything, you know, the reason why I collabed with them is really because I believe in their brand. There's really nothing much to gain from my side but i just really want to share the love to other the other moms because i know i really benefited a lot from bamberry baby and from scotty's love for bamberry baby <laughs> we also have this little changing mat thing it's like a portable changing mat thing so i'm just gonna lie this onto the bed and then we can change baby here and then when i'm done i just easily fold it and then we're good to go and before, I thought like you really have to have a separate changing table for baby and a changing foam and stuff like that. Pero ngayon, I learned you really don't need to spend on these things. Like for baby number two, we don't have a separate changing station. I'm just gonna use his crib and then just line it with something that's waterproof. And I don't have to spend additional money. So it's pretty cool. Like the things you learn when it's your second time around, really, really important. Okay, we also have this wink binder that I got from Urban Essentials. So it's a binder that you can wear after you give birth, though I don't know if I'm going to fit in this right away because I remember that after I gave birth to Scotty, I still looked about seven months pregnant. So I don't know if I'm going to fit into this. Um, we will see. I know I have another binder somewhere, but I can't find it. But if I find it, I'll probably bring that one instead because it's a lot more adjustable. This one is in a size small, so I really don't think it's going to fit me, but I'm going to have this laundered now. And then you're supposed to adjust as you go, like because you're gonna get thinner and thinner and thinner, so you're gonna adjust the hooks. And this is supposed to help you get back in shape. So I'm bringing that here. In this bag, we have some towels, we have some nursing bras, we have some mostly just robes and like day outfits. So I bought like four outfits that I can wear for the day, and it's not really outfits, it's more like lounge wear lang because I don't wanna have to really dress up and think about it so this is a robe from bamberry i'm not even gonna open it anymore for you it's just a typical basic robe in the same very beautiful tela this one these are also a part of my collab for bamberry and i'm gonna put a photo here so you can see it when worn it's really nice because i also wear it a lot now that i'm pregnant 
and you can wear it also postpartum. Um, it's great because the fabric is so soft. So when you're holding baby, baby's touching something super soft as well. And it also comes with this wrap top that I'm gonna show you right here that I'm wearing it with. And it's also super nice because you can breastfeed in it and it's so light, airy, and breezy even though it is long sleeved. And I don't know if the hospital is gonna be hot or if the hospital is gonna be cold, but I think this is just gonna be the right fit. And I also brought some of these things. They're just super easy maxi slip dresses. They're also part of my collab for Bamberry. So everything that actually is part of my collab with Bamberry, I made sure I want to bring it talaga or I'm really going to use it. It's not like fashion, but then, you know, fashion that's not practical. Like, you don't want to wear it because it's so uncomfortable. This is the time when everything needs to be comfortable for mom. So everything really is made and designed with comfort and care in mind. I have some nursing bras here, some robes, some towels. I think that's all that I have here. I didn't even bring underwear anymore because I'm just going to be using these always boutique panties. I think the hospital gives you these granny na like napkins or pads, but those are so uncomfortable because you have to change it, you have to wear your own underwear and stuff like that. These ones are just literally like pull-up diaper pants for kids, but they're for ladies. And I wore it last time with Scott and they were so comfortable. So I'm planning to just wear this the whole time postpartum. I'm not even gonna bring any panty at all. Because I didn't use it last time. And then inside this, because your under area is gonna be recovering, um, we have some perennial cold packs. So you're supposed to break this and then put it in between your JJ and the underwear. And then it's gonna keep everything cold down there. I've actually never used this. This is a friend who just gave birth, um, had extra, so she gave it to me. I know what I used last time was super effective, which is the Tux cooling pads. I kind of just layered it on top of the diaper. So let me show you right now. I really ordered this from Amazon Patalaga because I remember last time these helped a lot. So I would like layer four little cooling pads. Oh, it's sealed so I can't show you but it's literally like wet cotton pads with witch hazel in it. So it's gonna really relieve you and also kind of disinfect that area. So every time I pee, I change it, you know, because it would be bloody and everything. And then layer it again, like four pads on top of the always diapers. That really helped. I have some breast pads here that you guys saw me pack earlier. These are from Tom and Tippy um, because I don't like nursing bras with pads just because when the baby is latching on you, the pad kind of gets squished and I don't want to have to think about the pad when I'm breastfeeding. So usually nursing bras that I use don't have pads in them and then I just stick these just in case I'm leaking or lactating. I know, so sexy. <laughs> then I also saw so many reviews of the Dermoplast, which I think they give for free in the US. Um, and hospitals abroad, but they don't give this here in the Philippines, so I ordered this from Amazon. And it's supposed to help relieve pain, burn, and itch. And I remember one of the scariest parts of giving birth is postpartum when there are stitches down there and you have to pee and you have to poo and you don't know like if you poo like will these stitches break because it feels like everything's so swollen and sensitive down there so this will hopefully really help with that. And I also got myself a Freedom Mom Perry bottle because I remember it was so hard to wipe myself also down there. It wasn't so hard, I would just tap, but you know, I didn't really feel that clean. And so um, this is like a manual bidet of sorts. So you just put water in it and then you spray it and the angle is perfect to like hit your down there area, your hoo-ha and keep it clean. So that's what we have. Last few things that I have are my Haka pump that I still need to wash and sterilize just in case I need to like give some colostrum to the nurse or something like that. And I need to bring storage bottles for this also. Okay, sorry, my battery just died. Let me adjust you guys for a second. You know, I really wanted this to be a nice video where I was calm and I was in a brightly lit room somewhere with an outdoor view and like Slater's pretty fancy camera and a lighting setup. But when you're a mom, everything is realistic and I just can't. I'm so tired, I can't set it up. So, huh. We were talking about the haka, um, just in case, just in case, like I wanna sleep through the night for the first night, I wanna rest, maybe I can just use this to collect some colostrum and then I can give it to the nurse because we want our second baby to be circumcised as well. So I don't know if we're gonna have to leave him in the nursery like we did with Scott. Um, so I don't know, we're just gonna wing it. Um, I'm just gonna bring this in case. I need to pack some storage bags for that. Um, I also have some newborn diapers here that I packed for baby number two. 
I don't know how much of that he's gonna need. Then we have baby wipes and dry shampoo because I don't know if I'm gonna feel like showering right away. Although for Scotty, I did shower right away. We also have some nipple butter because if I remember correctly, my nipples were sore af for one whole month. And like I would flinch and scream every time baby would breastfeed. Hopefully that doesn't happen anymore now, but just in case, <laughs> we have nipple butter. Yeah, I have my toiletries. I'm thinking about packing a pump. We have this portable Spectra pump that was gifted to me by baby mama. I'm still thinking if I should bring this or not because if I bring this, that means I'll have to sterilize all of these bottles behind me. And then that means I have to bring a sterilizer to the hospital if I keep pumping. And then I read somewhere that you're not actually supposed to pump until like further along in the pregnancy. I mean, postpartum like a few weeks after and I really don't want to have an oversupply again of milk like last time because that was so painful like a lot of moms think wow you have an oversupply like that's so amazing it's actually not because your baby doesn't need it and you're just stressing yourself by waking up more in the middle of the night to pump it out when you pala kailangan ng anak mo and then if you don't pump it out and if your baby doesn't drink the milk your boobs get super rock hard so I'd rather my boobs just produce enough for Scott and just a little bit extra Kesa like before where it was just I just had to like manually pump it out all the time or else it would kill me and it would hurt so much. So I'm not so sure yet if I'm gonna bring this or not. But it is a good option. There's also another Spectra pump that's bigger and more industrial and it looks so pretty. It's also white and gold like this. But if ever I do decide to bring a pump, I'm gonna bring this one because it's a little bit more portable and you don't need to plug it into the wall for it to work. What else do I have that I'm gonna show you? I think the things I lack are gonna be like my water bottle, um, dish soap, cutleries, and stuff like that. If we're gonna order in to the hospital, um, I'm gonna need my own set of utensils to use, so it's just a little bit more sanitary. I also have some bed sheets here and pillowcases. What else do I need? Just the basics of like postpartum stuff and eating, thinking about eating there. And we also have this, which I cannot forget. So these are all of baby's records. And then at the back, I have my marriage certificate, I have my PhilHealth MDR form, um, photocopies of our IDs and stuff like that. So I've already organized everything in this clear book, which is what I did for Scotty too. So that Slater won't be having a hard time because you know he's the one who's gonna have to be running all of these things, all of these errands. And I'm so happy guys. Um, that's it, that's what's in my hospital bag. I'm not even gonna be bringing like anything crazy, like hair styling tools. I don't know why I thought I would use that before, but honestly, like, simple. Like, I told Slater, he's like, what do I need to pack again? I'm like, just pambahay. Like, pack a week or five days worth of pambahay and like a going home set of clothes, and then that's it. And masks also, we'll be using masks. But I guess that's it. If you're a mom out there and you've been requesting for this video for the longest time, I'm so happy that I finally got it done, and I hope that you are able to take away something from this video. <laughs> <laughs> because kabe, antagal, antagal. The procrastination was real. But okay, now I have to pick up Scotty from school. Yikes! Now I need to go now. So I'm just gonna pack this all up and head out. Hey guys, it's 5 p.m. And Scotty, <sighs> hi honey. Why are you in Mama's chair? Are you working? Is that your office? Is that? What you doing, honey? <laughs> <laughs> Are you in mommy's chair? Hold on. Wee! Wee! What? Hi, mommy. Hi, honey. Hi, mommy. Hi, honey. <laughs> Gigil ang bata. Ma. Ma. Why do you love to kiss yourself? Ma. Kissing. Mm. Who are you kissing over there? <laughs> nah. Alaka. Chick boy ni. Sigi pang kiss. <laughs> Madirti na ako mirror. Turo na na laway. <laughs> Yuck! So many laway na may mirror. <laughs> How many? How about you kiss mommy instead? Mm -hmm. How about you kiss mommy? Kiss mommy. Mm -hmm. 
Oh my god. Ha. You talk me. Mommy. Kati. Ah. The flower. Pew, 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 pew. Is an ant, oh? This is so gahi. This is a salt gun. Daddy salt gun. There! I got it! Mommy! Yeah. Mommy is very good to shoot <laughs> all the young house. Mommy is very good to shoot all the long house. That's right. Mommy is very good. Where's <laughs> the aunt? Wala na the aunt. Fly away na kay. We shoot it with the soft gun. Do you want some water? Are you thirsty? Because mm. it's so hot. Because we will eat. The salt? That's not salt for eating, that's industrial salt, honey. Would you like some water, my love? Because he will eat just a lot And your hands are dirty, remember? You played with the carpet. You have to wash your hands first. Small. In Guaxi's room, diba, there was a hairy carpet. And then you rub your hands together first. Then sing, happy birthday to you, happy birthday to you, happy birthday, happy birthday, <laughs> happy birthday to you. <laughs> it's almost Gaddy's birthday. We're gonna have a dinosaur party with a dinosaur cake. You like dinosaur cake? Triceratops cake. Triceratops cake and an M&M cake too. Mwah. I hope that when it's your birthday, Shotty is off now. Happy birthday to you. 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 Happy birthday, happy birthday. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. How about how about you say pat a cake? Pat a cake baker mending me a cake as what you still can. Then prick it. And pat it and mark it with a B. Happy birthday. Happy birthday to <laughs> you. Happy birthday to Happy you. Happy birthday to you. Hua! Happy birthday to you. Scotty in my on top of Shotty. Go down. Go down. Okay, just say go down and you don't have to say Okay, mommy cannot understand. I'll give you a free Okay. Scotty got the pretzels from the pretzel jar. Mm. Who got the pretzels from the pretzel jar? Scotty got the pretzels from the pretzel jar. That's enough na ha, kaya wag eat na ta dinner. Did you finish your pretzel snack in school today? Hmm? Did you share with Georgie? Yeah. Wala? No, no, wala mo ka nag-share. Hmm? I got share with Georgie. Why? Why wala mo ka ni-share? Next time you share. Okay? Okay. Okay, good boy. No share. Yes, share. Kiss. Kiss mama, please. Kiss mama. No matter how kind of busy and stressful life may get. I keep saying, you know kawawa talaga si baby number two because I'm always like in super duper stressful situations. I don't want to get into it, but madami talaga. Like there's just so many things happening that I don't share here in the vlog, obviously. And a lot of people misconstrue things. Basta, ang dami talaga nangyari. But, oh my God, Scotty, what are you doing? But for some reason, I'm still alive. I'm still happy. And I think it's all because of this little guy over here. Like, sometimes we get so consumed by the world around us or the things that we think we have to do or the, con the notions that we have in our head. You know, but then if you think about it, parang 
what's really the meaning of life and what makes you happy and and it's got and it's Slater and it's this new baby in my belly and like being able to have all of them here with me healthy and safe and that's really all that matters at the end of the day and I have to keep telling myself that and reminding myself of that when stress comes like today it was very stressful you didn't see because I didn't vlog for a majority of the day I just vlogged in the morning but guys kung alam niyo lang don't understand why anyway I don't want to get into it, but um, I'm just very, very thankful for all of you who continue to support me since day one. You want to eat berry? You ask Yaya because you're going to have dinner naman. Yaya will decide, huh? Like from the days when I was such a different person. <laughs> so noisy. Let me go talk to you in my room. So we're gonna have a live later at 6 p.m. I usually have my videos uploaded on Wednesday at 6 and Sundays at 10 and today is a Wednesday. So we have a live later, um, which I'm really excited about because I get to live chat with you guys. And I'm so very thankful for this community that really accepts me. Anyway, I just wanna say thank you from the bottom of my heart to those of you who have supported me from day one. I really appreciate you guys. Um, you're my therapy and I'm so excited that after X number of years, you guys are still here, some of you, and to those of you who are new to the Sky Fam, I'm so happy to welcome you into our little family here. It's a very safe, happy, friendly, and open community. And um, you're gonna soon meet baby number two, another addition to our growing family. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I hope I will see you guys in the next one. Bye! Appalachian sunrise meets my skin. Even with my eyes still closed, I can feel it